Okay, and we're live. What's up, Stu? How you doing, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> summer just uh, flying by. Flying ah. by the summer is, and basketball is about to start up again. Baseball just started up. Basketball is getting ready to start up, and um, we're doing another basketball break. Uh, hopefully, it'll go better than our last one. Um, it has to. It will definitely. Um, yeah. We uh, uh, we only have two sponsors for this one. Danny R bought the lower left, and then I think I may have underpriced this because the second guy that bought in just kept buying, um, uh, Mr. Cody K. So um, <laughs> I pr the the price on this he box. Has three, he has three. He has three three racks. Yeah, it's it's basically Danny R versus Goliath. Um, so Cody K has got. Um, we'll start with him, and then we'll break it up by going you know lower left. We'll keep the same order, but I purchased this box, and we'll we'll go ahead and break right in. You can see everything sealed um, a few months ago, and then I saw an art uh, like a thread on Blowout of like you know this being a hot product. The the slash or the slash the uh, Shaq Gold has. Um, been increasing etc and then um, I decided to do this break and uh, yeah I think the price of the box I think I underpriced it a little bit so you guys got a good deal on this break because um, I just charged what I paid but I paid like three months ago so um, look at those this is gonna be very similar remember our Derek Jeter hunt yes yeah it's gonna be um, we're, neither, we're neither of us really familiar with the products <laughs> right um, I have watched um, I have watched skimmed a few breaks. I'm guilty of skimming. Uh, this last pack is tough to get out. Um, and it seems like we don't have like our rock solid um, indicator cards, like um, like we've had in Fleer. Good luck, Cody K. We'll go ahead and break yeah. right in. Talk as we go. Um, but I did notice that Sean Kemp comes before Shaq very often. Not always. Um, and we start off with Fat Lever. I wish that they would have. Sucks that it's not wrapped. You know, it's like by '92, it's like plastic. Yeah, it's plastic, and they started the inserts and the the gold. Whoops! Uh, I'll have to find a different way to, so we don't blow the gold up each time. Was uh, that a shack right there? <laughs> I don't think that so. That might have been. Uh, it looked like an Orlando Magic. There's a Christian Leitner. The the draft pick cards have the the gold embossed. Um, ah. It's kind of hard to see, but um, it's, it's kind of nice. The, um, the world's most hated basketball player, Christian Leitner. Christian Leitner. Um, yeah, the ev everyone knew that Shaq should have been on the dream team instead of Christian Leitner. Um, Latrell Sprewell. A lot of look at these draft picks. That's three in a That's row. Not, that might be a Spreewell. That might be a Spreewell rookie card now. It is. It's the draft pick cards. There were three. Stanley Roberts is our uh, is our gold. There were uh, uh, three three draft picks in a row. So um, uh, maybe we got a draft a good pick player now. What's that? Isn't Spreewell like a good player? Uh, I think the only value. I mean, there's going to be great. You know, some great players that we're going to pass by. I think the real value is, um, you know, besides Shaq, is going to be. Uh, the Jordan card like this. There's a Jordan 50 point club card, and then there's uh, Alonzo Mourning, and of course e either of those in a gold. But like you know, the Karl Malone card, nice card, you know, Hall of Famer, etc. It's not you know very valuable. And there's Fat Lever, um, Lafayette Lever, um, very underrated player. I don't know if you remember this guy. Um, he he was with the Nuggets, but uh, he was like Mr. Triple Double. Um, he had like more triple doubles than like Bird and Magic in the '80s, and it was just one of those under, underreported, you know, achievements. Like Kevin Johnson in the '90s. Um, KJ, yeah, of course. Oh. He had like a lot of. He didn't have triple doubles, but he had like double doubles galore. That was this, a. Um, these are, so these are like the same design as the '92 top set. Yeah, except, right. Except for their draft picks have the nice. They don't have obviously the. The baseball diamond. The gold they, have, they, they do the uh, wow. So I wonder if they're all going to be like this. So the th the the second, third, and fourth card in the last pack were all draft picks, and they're Stockton. And there may be some value to some of these guys in a PSA ten, honestly. And there's a Spreewell gold. All right, we'll definitely sleeve that. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Um, I want I want that card. <laughs> a, a gold draft pick card. Um, absolutely. Sal Thompson. There's Barkley. 
J.R. Reed. So you get one gold card per pack. One per pack, um, although, you know, we've seen that not always be the case before. Um, it's pretty close, though. Actually, um, the only time we saw it not be the case, actually, was when there was, like, black gold, right? Um, I, need a, I need kind of a backdrop. Um, I'll set this down right here for now. Um, let's look at this real quick. Oh, it doesn't have the odds. So I don't think there's anything. I think it's just a, a gold per pack. I don't think they're, they're doing anything creative. Like, Tops, remember, had the black gold? Yeah. Uh, Tops baseball? Oops. Yeah, well, I'm I'm blown it on our golds, but there's a, a Mark Price gold. That's not that's not terrible. Who do you got in this year's uh, championship? It's it's so hard to say. Um, with uh, I guess I guess the main question is: Are we going to have uh, a re are the Raptors going to successfully defend their world championship? <laughs> I guess is the question. It's always possible. I really like these upstart teams, like you know the Pelicans and. The Mavericks, that's who I'd like to see, you know, make a run. Like, kind of the young stars. Um, although it looks like Zion is not going to be part of it for now, so. What happened? You got hurt? Um, I, 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 I thought it was COVID, and then I thought it was, um, it was like family issues or something like that. So it was kind of, like, ambiguous. Um, yeah. I'm doing terrible on the flip. Um, Will Purdue, Gold, Clyde Drexler, Sean Kemp. If you make like a whole, if oh. you make a, there's Shaq. So yeah, Kemp and Shaq is the wrong. Kemp and Shaq. It doesn't always work. Um, uh, not too bad actually. Um, the right border is just a little bit fat, so it may not be a ten. Um, so does anybody have like a full gold set? They sell a full gold set, actually. Um, oh, really? That's it's, shitty. It's pricey, though. Um, it's pricey, and then of course, you know, you don't know that your Shaq gold is going to be a ten. It could be like, you know, well, this... like the, that kind of defeats the purpose of like the rarity, knowing that they were just printing gold sets. How did you know what I mean? Yeah, um, I I don't know. Did they do that for baseball? I'm not sure if they did it for baseball. Um, But yeah, the, the draft there's like way less cards in a basketball set than a baseball set. <laughs> that looked like Shaq a few years from now, almost. Um, but uh, but yeah, it is. It's pricey. I mean, um, I want to say it's like four or five hundred bucks. I mean, you can almost buy like the Shaq gold for what you have to buy a sealed set for. You know, Tree Rollins mm -hmm. and Charles Smith. So congrats, Cody K. Got us out with a Shaq. It is not perfect. It's just a little bit. The bright board is just a little bit fat, but perfect corners, pack fresh. Shaq, of course, uh, one of the most dominant athletes in his sport, in any sport. Like, who who could defend Shaq? Shaq was ridiculous. Um, uh, I grew up um, uh, just outside of Orlando, and we picked uh, we picked up the Magic on Channel 26. You could pick it up crystal clear on with rabbit ears, any TV. And um, it was. Uh, Who's that? Abdul Nabi? Don't know him. Um, Kiki Vandaway. Uh, and it was great. I mean, Shaq was just such a character. And he was um, Horace Grant. Is that a rookie? Uh, Buck Johnson. James Worthy. Hall of Famer. That's worth sleeping. And uh, there was just all these stories of him. He loved to drive like whatever he was driving at the time, Escalade or something, you know, right down to the the uh, the old dome, and um, would just hang out the window and just clown. This is before you know every cell phone had a this before cell phones really, and uh, he would just clown people on the way you know to the games, back and forth to the games. He was just he was and there were pictures of it in the Orlando Sentinel. Um, he was just such a character. He like took over Orlando, and honestly, I used to like tear down the backboards. Yes, he was famous for that. Um, I talked about that in the preview, and uh, um, honestly, it was it was kind of almost semi devastating when when he left. Um, the Magic were just like you know, all the air was out of that balloon. They played in the championship pretty quickly into his career. Um, he, I mean, him, Hardaway, those guys just. Turn that franchise around, David Robinson. 
They didn't win though. They made it to the finals, right? Yeah, they they did not win. Um, they uh, they made a lot of runs. Uh, did they move to Houston or San Antonio or? Um, I don't remember. A, that's a good question. Actually, what happened? Um, the franchise. Um, I don't know. I'll look it up. Is that the maybe it's the New Orleans? It was part, maybe just part of the expansion. All right. See the goal. Gave it away. Oh, they lost to the Lakers. Yes, that's right. Harold Miner. No, but that that doesn't make sense. That was in two thousand and nine. Oh, but no, yeah, that was that's after Ed Pickney. I remember him. Fifty point club card. We still haven't seen the Jordan fifty point club card. That's oh. nice. Michael Jordan fifty point club. Uh, oh, they nice. were in the NBA Finals in 1995. So, now let's find out who won that game. Um, let's see that. Oh, I didn't bring my time. Yeah, in. Houston. Houston, they lost to in the finals. Yeah, I remember that. They got, they, they, got, they got swept. That was, yeah, wow. was Sam Cassell and those guys. I remember that. I feel like it was Drexler and Hakeem on the same team. Hakeem, I remember Sam Cassell because uh, um, he was a Seminole. Um, but yeah, I remember that series. They were Robert Ory hitting all those threes. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, was Clyde Drexler on that Houston team? Um, I remember him as being a Spur, but but maybe he may have moved around by then. There's the the morning. Nice. Zo. Zo, baby. Pooh Richardson. So we haven't been doing great on our, our golds, but... Yeah, Drexler was on Houston for that championship. There's Scotty Pippen. So is that the only Michael Jordan see. card in the set? Is that 50-point card? It's the only one um, in Series 2. So it's the only one we're going to see, unless they, you know, miscolated or something. Ah, Series 2. Copy that. Yeah, so... Um... Oh, no, here's my mom calling me. Wait <laughs> a second. Hello. I. Why did I pull? pull the I I go to go to Carrie's first because I'm in the middle of doing something. Okay, cool. There's the morning. Sorry about that. Shout out to my mom Trudy, who uh, watches your breaks. I'm sure. <laughs> nice. Everyone who watches the channel has seen Jack of All Trades, so, like. They, you know, you're almost like kind of like extended family. You know, people think like the Brady Bunch is like oh, their yeah. family. Ah, uh, so they know Trudy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and Carrie and everyone. Yeah. Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Tell you when I the first time I saw your move your documentary. Wow, we have not done well with our <laughs> our golds. Marty Who's Conlon. That? Marty Conlon. I don't even know who that is. I don't even remember him. Mario Ellie. Um, uh, you were, it was kind of at the beginning of the movie when you're going through your stuff and your sister like calls it, calls you and she yeah. asks you, yeah. you're like, yeah, I have the Mattingly rookie. And your sister's like, do you have the Donruss one? And immediately yeah. like, I turned to my, my wife and I was like, wow, his sister knows cards too, because yeah. the, the Donruss one was the one to have. And she immediately yeah, she, knew. She, know, she, know, she knows her stuff. I'm actually trying to do something with her in the space again, like where we've been talking about doing something. I don't know whether it's like a YouTube channel or I don't know what it's going to be, but she's that's, she's like so into baseball cards again. I remember, yeah, th it, that was at the end of the movie that you said yeah, like it, it kind of rekindled her. Yeah, she's obsessed. She's uh, She goes like, you know, treasure hunting on the weekends. Who's that? Del Curry. Okay, Steph's dad. <laughs> He's a pretty good player, actually. Oh, back to back, gold. Ah, in the, that's gold in the probably standard. a lottery. That that's probably a lottery that's never happened. <laughs> back to back Dells. Xavier McDaniel moved to the Celtics. Isaiah Thomas. Yes. All right, that's sleeveable. Um. Anyway, she's obsessed. She 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 loves this stuff. So do I. So you know, maybe there's something that we can do. If you think of something, let me know. I mean. 
we could always add her to a break if there's like one of her favorite sets or we do like you know 84 donruss we'll do like zoom with uh another screen i'll ask it that del curry gold is probably uh you know steph might want it or his pc perfect centering on that one too of course all right, Cody K's done pretty well, but um, we really would like to hit one of our big cards in the gold, and then maybe that perfectly centered shack. If you happen to pull a guy called Lafonso Ellis, let me know. Is he in this series? I don't know. I remember the name. He was like a Denver Nugget, like slam dunker. Terrell Green, Ray Davis. It's hard. They didn't use like the team logos on these cards. Yeah, no, not even on the back. Maybe they didn't have the rights. Maybe they can. I, well, they can use the pictures. Um, There's a Chris Mullen gold. It's much better. Brooks, Clyde the Glide, Mays, Mark Price. So Bob you Royal. sleeve James Worthy, but you don't sleeve Clyde the Glide? Um, Isn't he a Hall of Famer? I probably should, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, James... I know. No. Um, I'm, just, I'm just breaking your... I know. Uh, yeah, the only excuse I would have is James Worthy has, like, you know, five rings. Uh, Jack Sloan against two? Does he, have, does he have two? I thought, I thought maybe he only had one. I but. think so. <laughs> I mean, he might only have one. I'm just fucking. He was he was a great anyway. Player. He was a great player. Um, he he probably should be sleeved. I say more more. I don't remember this guy. Ninety two draft pick. So there's no gold on those, or that is gold. No, it's uh, it's it is gold, but it's not the gold. The name is in gold. Right. Um, it just right, has right, the right. embossed, like that. Oh, there he is in gold. Actually, <laughs> isn't that funny? Um, <laughs> the, any of the two packs in. Uh, Two packs in a row, you fit the same player in the same gold. Right. Any of the draft picks in gold, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and sleeve. Um, Smith, Vandeway, Jason Williams. Still only the one Shaq. For Cody uh, I just made my I just made my screen so much bigger so now I can read the players' names. This is better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't always, I don't have a look at your feed, so if there's ever a problem, just let me know. Fonzo there he Ellis. is, Lafonso Ellis. I was just asking about him. A little bit off cut. Traffic card. Yeah, doing the slam. Dave Johnson. Kendall. There's the Marty Conlon. Now, there's an Isaiah gold. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's cool. There's the Worthy. Um, I think he already has a sleeved Worthy. So. Do, you remember, do you remember those, like, uh, double screw cases where you could, like, put two cards in a screw case? Um, you mean, like, side by side or? Yeah, like, side by side. It was, like, a double screw case. So, like, you could put, like, two error cards in there. Or you could put, like, the gold card and the not gold card if you want. Or, like, Maguire, Canseco, sometimes I saw, or Pippen and Jordan. But no. you could do like two cards. I never had those. I've seen the the one touches they've come out with recently, but I never I never really used those screw down cases too much. Well, you're lucky because the rest of us did, and it ruined all of our cards. Yeah, I put too much pressure on them, and then uh, guys that have had them in like in the same screw case for like 20 years have sent them into. So our first uh, P beam team um, have sent them in, and PSA sends them back. It says altered because it looks like they've been yeah. flattened and squished. So there's a, a bean team with Jordan on it. So um, KJ, Jordan, and Rodman. So there is two Jordan cards in the set. There's Leitner. Latrell Spurewell. I don't think you're going to get a lot of doubles because, like, how big could the set be? We haven't seen that one before. 50-point 50, 50 club, Mikhail. I didn't um, even know he had 50 points. Um, yeah, Mikhail. Kevin Mikhail was a scorer like that. Oh yeah, for sure. As a matter of fact, Bird, when Bird uh, scored sixty, 
it was Kevin McHale's record that he broke. Kevin McHale had like 56 or 58. Um, oh, I didn't know that about him. The same I'm season. Like, um, not the biggest Celtics fan, so excuse me on that. Yeah, McHale was um, McHale was really um, probably like the hidden gem of those uh, 80 Celtics teams. Um, they probably don't win without him. Um, several of those uh, championships. All right, four packs to go in the second stack for Cody K. Okay, so there's only 396 cards in the set. So you're going to get a lot of doubles. We were off the 50-point club card. We were off by one on the on the gold. I, I saw it. So you got another Jordan Stockton. We'll see that. So Stockton, we'll these guys weren't in Series 1, I guess. They um, held back some players. Yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Uh, Isaiah Thomas, Stockton. Um, there's the Jordan. Yeah, a little bit, of not quite as nice a cut as the last one. The last one was almost perfect. Addison, Boswell, Gary Grant, 20 assist club. I don't remember that. Mookie Blaylock, and Stephen Howard. All right. Yeah, definitely not as nice a cut as the that first one. So I guess was Tops late to the game on Shaq? Like, I because Upper Deck had his rookie card in their first series, so I'm guessing Tops didn't was like didn't have him until series two, right? Um, it it looks that way, yeah. Um, and then they had him in the stadium, stadium Club also, um, which I'm not sure right. actually which was the first release, but. Elijah one should sleep in, I guess. Robert Ory. They really flip these around. Rex Chapman, I remember him. He, uh, good, tw uh, good Twitter follow, Rex Chapman. Yeah, he was he was better in college than he was in the pros, but um, still a pretty good player. I'll sleep that gold. There's Scotty Pippen. Twenty assist, Mark Price. His gold earlier. Blondo Blackman. Danny Young and Terry Cummings. Is this still the first stack? No, no, it's um, uh, it's oh. just for Cody K. It's <laughs> we got two packs to go okay. in the second stack, and then Danny R. Right, I was like, I was like, this is never ending, Cody. <laughs> and then and then we'll be back to Cody K for his he'll uh, he'll have his. Danny minute. R. gets the uh, gets the Stu Stone hot pack, which never seems to be hot. It could be though. Could be um, could be golden. This might be the up. Oh. Okay, here's is this gonna happen? We'll do a slow peel this time. It doesn't always, so don't get excited. It does this time. Yeah, that's... Nice. Shaq. Ah, yeah, Shaq. just a little bit off still. The right border's just a little bit fat. Um, Two shacks already for for uh, yep. for Kobe. And for Cody, is it Cody? Cody K, and um, and Cody this is his K. third Jordan fifty point club card. He's cleaning up on this box. And he hit the the morning also. Um, he's not, he's not leaving anything for uh, for our boy. <laughs> Danny R. Well, um, maybe we've got a hot box again. So now um, two stacks, two shacks. That would be that'd be awesome if we did like our Frank Thomas again. Um, that was insane. Oh, what am I doing? Let me. Um, when we pulled the five Frank Thomases out of one box. The guys on, on Blowout are so jaded. I posted our break on there, which I'm, I'm always hesitant to do because they're, they're, they're like angry, burned out card collectors, right? Um, so they, they hate everything. Um, second shot, Cody K. Anyway, I was like, you know, check out our, our break. And the first guy was like, congrats. You, you know, you got the the normal two Frank Thomas per box. Because all he did was scroll to the end and he sh saw me hold up the last two that came out of the last stack. And everyone like jumped on him and was like, you know, congrats on not being able to count past two um, and you know, stuff like that. It was kind of funny. So that was a successful uh, successful video over there? People liked it? Um, yeah, everyone was congratulating us. I mean, you know, I'm still a small channel. So, um, so I, you know. Small, small but mighty. Small but biting. It's I think we're in our eleventh month, so I don't think we've hit it one year yet. But um, 
we've been we've been growing a little bit in the last few months. Uh, I don't I you know I don't put much thought into it until it comes time to break really. <laughs> Right. Well, but you're mostly you mostly are doing this for fun, right? You know, we enjoy uh, we, going on uh, Skype. We enjoy talking sports and cracking packs, and it's it's amazing that you do this for no profit. And I think that that's something that you should definitely be commended for because a lot of these, I would say, probably every breaker is doing this to make money, and you're probably the only one who isn't. Just about every breaker marks up their stuff um, dramatically, well, um, and and you don't like doing that. No, I, re I really haven't done any of that. But I mean, I also stay, I try to stay, if you notice, like under $100 buy-ins. Um, the only one I did, um, good luck, Danny R. Oh, we'll do our, we'll mark your hot pack, the Stu Stone hot pack. This might be the time. <laughs> uh, 84 Donruss, we did a box of that. And it was, I had to charge like, you know, 140 bucks a stack and we hit no Mattingly's and I just felt so bad. I did a bonus break for everyone, but that's when I was like, you know what, that's, I don't like charging that much um, because then if you don't hit anything, you feel bad, you know? Yeah, but they're getting like a full rack of packs, so you shouldn't feel bad. Like if they went to a card show and paid that, they would open the packs and get no Mattingly. And um, yeah, it looks like my, I'm gonna unplug my, my light is, it wigs out on us like every, every once in a while. Christian Lightner. Can we still see okay? Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Not too bad. There he is again, Lafonso Ellis. Lafonso Ellis and Todd Day is our gold. Dikembe Matumbo. <laughs> Whoa, is that a, that's got to be close to a rookie now. It must be like his second year, third year. Um, it's got to be close, right? It doesn't say draft pick, so I I think this might be like his first card. Though I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that. I, I, he's such a great, great character. Fly the glide. Let's look at the centering on that. Um, just a little bit fat on the bottom. Stanley Roberts, Mark Price, and Dominique. 50-point club card. We haven't seen that yet. Whoops. A human highlight reel. Yeah, it's... Um, I'm going to move this light over just a little bit so we get a little more light. Um, yeah, people... I, I was talking to someone this past week who's like, you know... I don't know, he's probably 30, 28. And I was trying to talk to him about Dominique, and he's like, was kind of like drawing a blank. And I'm like, do you understand how good Dominique Wilkins was? He was like, like, you know, I was naming all the current stars. And I'm like, that was Dominique. It was, he was just like, you know, as good as Jordan, really, until Jordan really put those teams together. But throughout the until 80s. Jordan, uh, until, Jordan, until Jordan started doing that quote unquote weight training. Yeah, and, you know, until he got, uh, quite honestly, Scotty Pippen, and he got a cast of characters around him um, that were, you know, winners. Sometimes they they, uh, they split weird. Um, now, there's a Barkley gold. Nice. That's pretty cool. Might be perfectly centered, too. Oops, i got to watch how I'm holding him now. Perfectly centered, too. Nice. Definitely sleeve that. So in your PC, you don't have any of these boxes, just like for your own enjoyment? Um, of this basketball, I don't. Um, I'm thinking about grabbing another one, though. But like I said, the price has gone up a little bit. Um, Horace Grant. Stockton and Trent Tucker. I like that Barkley. Nice. Really should have won when he was with the Suns. Uh, that um, ran into the Bulls. Yeah, if I mean honestly, Steve Kerr misses that shot, then it's Game Seven back in Phoenix, and that's the, the last dance may have a whole different tone. You know, Steve Kerr hit that three pointer, and that was that. But if he misses that shot, Barkley may may have uh, they may have pulled it off in the seventh the seventh game. Todd Day, J.R. Reed, um, underachiever, but um, he was like a top draft pick. Um, goal. Tom Chambers, fifty point club. Eric Anderson. I feel like we've seen Eric Anderson a lot. Vernon Maxwell, assists. Chuck Pearson. Jerry was a 
Tar Heel came along after Jordan. Remember J.R. Ryder? Yeah. What was... Um, but then there was also Isaiah Ryder. Is that the same guy? No, I don't think so. Um, Isaiah Ryder... Um, who's J.R. Ryder? No, I'm trying to remember, actually. Basketball player. <laughs> yeah. I'll look him up. Oh, we got Stockton Gold. That's pretty cool. Bo Kimball. Uh, yeah, Isaiah Ryder and J.R. Ryder are the same person. Are they? Yes. Wow. Oh. Isaiah Ryder Jr., like nicknamed J.R., is in the... Yeah, he played for the Blazers and... Bunch of other teams. T Wolves. The Admiral. Kevin McHale again. Yes, you were right. Yeah, it's the same person. I don't know why. Didn't ring a bell. Mark Jackson. Do you want to see if uh, uh, the brothers are in the background? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Remember that card? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think you Melendez was. I think you posted it before. Is that, um, that's Hoops, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, like 92 Hoops. I don't think you'd be able to do a break of 92 Hoops. Like $6 a box. <laughs> yeah, right. A buck 50 a rack. Actually, I, I have another, um, a really cool, I'll show you in a second, um, that is a really cheap break um, that we can do. that would be like $20 a spot. That may be kind of cool when we want to go back to Kevin Brooks. We haven't had a lot of, uh, there's KJ, 20 assists. Patrick Ewing, 50 point. Seeing some different cards here. Dwayne Coswell. Gary Grant, we've seen that one. McMillan, and we see Mark Akers. He was on the Magic early on. Um, oh, we didn't see him on that. Danny Yard, getting the hose. Yeah, but he's got the suits on Stone Hot Pack coming up, so. Yes. Let's get him a shack. Let's get him something. There's Latrell Sprewell. Sometimes he's a. Just Stockton. Um, Christian Leitner. Sprewell. Seems like they run together. Trent Tucker Gold. Pooh Richardson. Kiki Vandeweghe. Mark Price, Kevin Willis, Carl Malone, 50 point, Lafayette, Lever, 20 assist, and Danny Young. Oh, check this out. This will be for a future break, right? Oh, yeah, that's fun. Super fun. 81 to 91, so it's all the designs. Uh, of the 80s, like baseball cards that we know, like 84 top. There's an 84 yeah. tops Jordan that is really yeah. nice. Um, and usually you pull a couple per box, but you know, that I, I just think that would be a fun one to go through. Um, I agree, that sounds really fun. Todd Day, Weatherspoon, there's a Leitner Gold. There you go. Not exactly what Danny R is hoping for, but uh, Scott Skiles. NBA, uh, uh, NBA Jam superstar Scott Skiles. Yeah, and um, uh, there's a the story of I don't know if you've ever seen the story. Actually, there's a like funny cartoon video of it on YouTube of the Scott Skiles Shaq fight. So they actually got into a fist fight. Believe it or not. Um, cause, oh my God. cause that's, you know, Scott Skiles is just like, you know, like a Jack Russell, you know, he just knows no fear. Well, the, they, they were actually scrapping and actually throwing punches. And then Shaq, the, it's funny. The guy tells the story, like Shaq just kind of stood up and hit him like a whack-a-mole on top of that, <laughs> just like you would hit like whack-a-mole and Chuck E. Cheese. And, uh, and that was the end of the fight. Uh, let's see that later. Scott Skiles held. Does he still hold the record? He held the record for most assists. He he scored that when he was with the Magic. All right, here we go. Shaq Gold. Hot pack. Here we go. Um, he had Scott Skiles had thirty assists. One game. Clyde the Glide on the back. I'm gonna go one short of it so we don't 
I see that it's not a Shaft Gold. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to. I was trying so not to, sorry. We Robert tried, Rory, man. We tried. Dwayne Cooper, and it's a horse Grant. Uh, ah, gold. horse Grant. Okay, that's pretty good. Was an early card of his for sure. Could, could be worse. Walter Palmer. That hot pack has been ice cold. Moses Malone, fifty point. Bernard King, fifty point. Doc Rivers. Some good players here. David Wood, Tracy Moore, and Clyde the Glide. If we'd had a lotto of like, you know, three fifty point club cards in the same pack. He would have just hit. He would have hit it. Horace Grant, uh, gold. That's not too bad. All right, last pack, Danny R. Good luck. Let's see. Let's hope to see some Sean Kemp action. It's like one side that always sticks a little harder. Come on, Danny. You got this, man. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. That looked like a top pick. Oh. And there's Kemp. Danny Hart, baby! Is this going to happen? I saw the draft pick. I'm not kidding. Yeah, so did I. I think it's happening. Woo. Danny R. Settle Danny down. R. Settle about, down. I'm about to hit. Oh! oh. We just well, ourselves. this could be a crazy pack. This could be like the Shaq Shaq pack. It does happen. You're right. All right. So, um, so great hit got already, Shaq, Danny so I'm R. very happy that he hit that Shaq. Danny R is free rolling now. So, um, so no matter what happens. House money. Why don't you flip it over and go from the reverse way? Chucky Brown. And we'll, yeah. we'll go last. All right. Joe Dumars. Kimpton. Dominique, 50 point. I, I, I think he's got it, man. I think he's got it. Brad Doherty. Avery Johnson. Isaiah, 20 assist. Stockton, 20 assist. All right. Danny here Ainge. we go, Danny. Let's do this. Danny Ainge with the Suns. Victor Alexander, Robert Worden. Oh, baby. Is this it? No. No. That's not it. Geiger, it'll be after the card that's backwards, so it's after Chucky Brown. Right, here we go. Danny R. Drum roll, please. I think it's going to be a Shaq. Good luck, Danny R. Come on, Danny, you got this, man. Oh, I don't think so. We no. shouldn't see a ball. No, it's no, we shouldn't see a ball. It ain't Shaq. Boo. Lee Mayberry. We had a Shaq, Listen, though. you got a Shaq. You I'm got a Shaq. At least you got We're a Shaq. And you got touch. the horse, Brent. That Shaq is pretty nice, the one that he got, too. Yeah, and we got to do, like, you know, we got to be Oprah again. Like, you know, you get a, you get a Shaq, you get a Shaq. Everybody who bought a, uh, a rack, or a stack, I should say, got a Shaq. Gets a shack. We've we've, aver we've averaged a shack a stack. <laughs> All right, so um, we got one more shot at a gold. Um, Cody K's. Sorry, Danny. Cody K, man. Now the pressure's on you, my man. The pressure's on you. Make sure and label that. All right, Cody K, you're back up. Good luck. And the run has been right. Kemp has been ahead of Shaq every time. So, um, nice indicator. Well, now we should just be cruising through looking for Kemp's. <laughs> Rick Mahorn, gold. Mark Bryant, Nick McMillan, Austin. Yeah, whenever you know, know there's a run... Dale Ellis, uh, 50 point, then um, definitely only buy, you know, these, this product sealed, like sealed somehow, don't buy loose packs because the guys have already kind of figured them out and mapped them out. Robinson, John Sally with the heat. Spider. So he went I from the Pistons to the Bulls by way of the heat. I don't even remember that. Neither do I. But it couldn't have been very long. Um, maybe one year. For price. And there's the Stacey King. Chuck Pearson. He was a fun player for a while. Charles Smith. Kevin McHale, 50 point. And Elijah Wan, 50 point. 
So we're trying to upgrade really for Cody K because I think he probably has most of the. I think he's hit all the all the key cards so far. I think he can actually build a set. <laughs> probably come pretty close. The sale Thompson gold. KJ, Patrick Ewing, and so three shacks. It's pretty awesome, actually. It looks like one or two are normal, so we're ahead of the ahead of the curve. Daniels, Ugliata. There's an Alonzo Morning, a little off cut, unfortunately. Just leave that anyway. Mark Seeley, Gary Grant, Akers, Pooh Richardson, Vandaway, Mark Price. I'll tell you what, if Mark Price and Kiki Vandaway were um, valuable cards, we'd really be cleaning up. Huh. All right. Second Lonzo for him. I think the other one is a little bit nicer. That left border is kind of fat on that one. Joe Dumars on the back. Got a beam team. Let's start with that one. So this is the <laughs> Mark Price again. Uh, Hakeem, Sean Kemp, and Mark Price beam team. Edwards, Don McLean, Eddie Johnson, Lafayette, Gary Cummings, 50 point, David Wood, Tracy Moore. By the God, 50 point, and there's the Joe Mars. All right, four packs to go. Come on, Cody. You know, a Jordan gold 50 point would be awesome too. Um, it's quite a few. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to go one, <laughs> one in front of that. Well, so, I don't think you hit it. <laughs> Scott Brooks. I know. I keep giving it away every time. The gold. Edgy Smith, and. Olden Polynice? Polynice. Polynice? I don't remember him. Kimpton. Dominique, 50 point. Uh, just a little bit off. Brad Doherty. Avery Johnson. I used to always like the way this guy talked. Remember him? He had a, like a is it a, like a Texas accent? I don't know if you remember him. It's so funny. Yeah, he I had remember a, him, but I don't remember his voice. Oh, he has, he gives the great in, greatest interviews. He just has like this really distinct delivery and, and voice. Um, Stockton, Danny Ainge. I feel like Danny Ainge was not far in front of our last shack, but we'll see. Three packs to go. Nope. <laughs> I know. It's, a, uh, it's, a, it's terrible the way they, they put them right there, and I flip it right there every time. And we haven't seen this guy before, but um, I don't remember him. Gunders, Vitra, Timberwolves, Nate McMillan, Chambers, and we've definitely seen that run, Chambers, and all right. Nope. <laughs> not this time. All right, the last pack, I'm not going to ruin the, the goal. We're gonna. I'm gonna hide it to the very end. Eric Murdoch, Vernon Maxwell, Chuck Pearson, Charles Smith. There's the Rex Chapman base and Hakeem, 50 point. All right, Cody. All right, Cody. Cody let's see if we can do this, Cody. Come on. We once pulled a Griffey Junior uh, 89 upper deck out of the very last pack. Anything's possible. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to hide it right here just for a second, just so you guys don't see it. I'm going to put it all this the way gonna sli This is where you slip the Shaq Gold in? <laughs> right. Patrick Ewing. Derek Coleman. Paul Pressey. Frank Johnson. Will Purdue. Bo Kimball. All right, these guys are going to be backwards, so I don't ruin it. <laughs> Dave Johnson. Walt Williams. And we'll do a reveal on the last one. Lafonso Ellis. Clyde the Glide. All right. That's, yeah, there you go. We could end on worse Respect gold cards. Respectable. Brad Lowhouse. 
Never we didn't pull a Shaq uh, uh, gold, but we did pull three Shaqs out of the box. We pulled two Jordans, a bunch of other nice stuff. I this was a fun break. Two Alonzo mornings, um, some Clyde the Glide, some nice, um, uh, some nice gold cards, honestly, um, and a bunch of sleeve cards. It was a fun set, um, but uh, yeah, three Shaqs. Danny R has one, and um, I don't want to mix them up. So these two are Cody K's. Um, the first Cody K one looks pretty good. They both look like you know eights or nines. They're not too bad. I'm not sure if the border is perfect, but you know the border doesn't. Well, not one of them is a little off center, like the this second. One for sure, that yeah. one's off center. Yeah. yeah. But um, they don't have to be absolutely perfect to get a PSA ten, but it, they have to be really close. So um, anyway, they'll have perfect edges. No printing errors. Um, so, successful break. Yeah, congratulations, guys. Awesome. Well, um, thanks for joining us again, Stu. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Looking forward to whatever. I, I always have fun doing this, so yeah, let's keep um, going. I'll do a, I'll do a teaser uh, video. Um, shoot me a message if you have ideas. I've got a few um, a few ideas. We can, I think we're going to go back to baseball. Let's do a vintage baseball, but maybe one that's not – too pricey um so like maybe middle of the road um but uh we'll see. i'm down whatever you want man let's go thanks cody k for buying in i think it was his first time buying in thanks danny r for buying in as always um uh, and thanks Stu for joining us thank you buddy had a good time and i'll see you next time we'll see you soon thanks man peace